Welcome back to TMC Farm and Garden. Today I'm going to prune a pear tree. Just like the apple tree, we have to take and uh, prune out these suckers that are all in here. And of course I'm going to take the, the chicken wire off that's down below. So, And I'm going to replace it with something uh, a little bit more tree friendly. Like maybe like some hardware cloth or even a tree wrap. So like I say, we take and we, this is in the center, so we take and trim out all these suckers. You want to get them as close as you can to the branch. You don't want to go way up here unless you want to create another branch that's going out in either direction. Let's get these trimmed. We have another sucker that's right here. I want to get that out of the way. Okay. I have lots of them down here that I'm going to have to trim out. chicken wire out of the way. I got some other ones. I got another sucker over there. You'll see we got I trimmed this branch here uh, last year so it would Y out. So I'm happy with it. Right here we got a dead branch. I want to get that one out. There we go. Oops. There we go. So, like I said, I trim this branch, just like I said before. Trim this branch, cut it off, and either Y or straight out, so that one's good. Did the same up here, did the same thing at Y's. So in this instant, I'm going to trim this one out. So now you see this one in here, it's growing like towards the center of the pear tree. Even though it has some buds on it, but we also have up in here, uh, where it's starting to rub on the base of this tree or base of this limb sorry so I want to eliminate this one just like the apple trees you don't want them growing in towards your center take that one out There. So that one's gone, and like I say, it was rub rubbing higher up on this tree around this limb. Now, higher up, we have where this one is actually rubbing on that limb, also. So I'll take this one completely out. So you don't want to cause damage to your fruit trees by branches rubbing on other branches. I have a limb right here and it's growing right up and it is going to interfere with the top of this branch. So I'm going to take that one out completely. Last year I just snipped it and it sprouted but I can see potential for harming the tree on this limb. So I'm going to remove it completely right from the base. Oh, that's not good. Well, I did a boo-boo. That 
it's not a good cut. So I am going to take it backwards and I'm going to cut it off. It shrugged when I did the cut, I did a little pull and it pulled the bark back and I don't like that kind of, I don't like that exposed. So I'll cut it off next year or this year I should say, it'll take and sprout out from here. But like I say now here, we're looking at interference with this branch. Now, do we want to take this branch back or let take this branch back? But as viewing this, there's actually damage on this branch right here. So I am going to eliminate this whole branch. There's a big scar tissue in it. So I will take this one out. I'm going to trim this because I know where that's going. Right into my top. This one I'm questioning. I might just leave this go for this year and just come back next year and review it. I'm going to move the camera over to the other pear tree and we have more trimming over there. We're at the second pear tree. have again lots of suckers that we need to trim out and I gotta find the end of this because I've been looking out on this chicken wire here well duh <laughs> finding the end of it so I can get it unwrapped from the tree Trimming out some of these suckers, maybe some of these limbs that look like they're going to be trouble in the future. Now, one thing you see that it has two limbs coming out. Now, even with a regular tree, you got to watch your balance so you're not taking all the limbs off one side of the tree and leave limbs on the other side of the tree. Your tree is going to topple over. So you still want to do a balance, like an equal balance in your tree of taking limbs out. So sometimes you have to go an extra year or two with more, you know, with leaving some of the limbs alone, maybe just sprouting them so they kind of lie off and take off. So that's one thing until you might get your tree a little bit more developed. So, and this tree benefited us big time with pears last year. And I contribute that to pruning the tree. So, I try to prune my trees every year. Do I? There was one winter we had so much snow, there was no pruning. No way of getting out here. So. Well, I could have got out here, but the snow was so deep, so I left them go for one year. So as this is coming out, it's growing really good. Uh, interference. Oh yeah, I can see it. Right to the top. This tree actually looks pretty good. Couple trouble spots. Let's see this one. Lots of buds on the tree. That's good. That one going in here. Oh, not that one. Yeah, this tree's gonna do all right. I think again this year, as long as Mother Nature takes and cooperates. Yeah, this tree is looking pretty good. So, I uh, brought the big saws all out to trim this where all these suckers are coming out of. There we go. Look at that. 
it's a whole lot better than that smaller one I was using on the apple tree. There we go. That's good. There. And then uh, this summer we'll take and we'll uh, chop up the pear branches or the spring and we'll use them in the smoker. That yeah, looks good. Looks really good. So that concludes uh, trimming pear trees. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Remember to uh, like and subscribe if you want to keep following us on TMC Farm and Garden. Thank you.